Packers could acquire $97 million Pro Bowl player in major trade offer. The Green Bay Packers have been quite active this offseason, but a significant trade proposal involving four-time Pro Bowl cornerback Mars on Lattimore could shake up the NFL. Sayer Bettinger, a writer for Dairyland Express, put forward several potential trades that the Packers could pursue during this offseason. Among these suggestions, acquiring a season-wide receiver such as T. Higgins or Brandon Ayuk was considered. However, one particularly intriguing proposal was the idea of the Packers securing Lattimore from the New Orleans Saints. Although the Saints might benefit from retaining Lattimore, they could also gain by receiving a third or fourth round draft pick and removing his contract from their books, Bettinger remarked. Given that the Packers possess 11 selections in this draft, investing one or two in Lattimore wouldn't be the worst decision general manager Brian Guttekens could make. A trade for Mars on Lattimore is within reach. Acquiring a player with Lattimore's caliber may seem ambitious, but there exists a plausible trade scenario if the Packers decide to pursue him. According to ESPN insider Jeremy Fowler, sources at the NFL scouting combined in Indianapolis revealed that the Saints are contemplating trading Lattimore. A recent contract restructuring has made Lattimore's contract more manageable for any team interested in acquiring him this offseason. The Packers currently have ample cap space at their disposal, both in the present and in the coming years. Despite a busy free agency period, over the cap reports that the Packers still possess $22 million in cap space. This figure is projected to rise to $68 million in 2025. Meanwhile, the Saints need to continue reducing their salary cap obligations for future seasons. Despite significant roster moves and contract adjustments, New Orleans still finds itself $73 million over the cap in 2025, a figure that exceeds the league's second-worst cap space by nearly $50 million for the following season. Trading Lattimore now in exchange for draft picks could make the 27-year-old cornerback an attractive target for teams like the Packers. What lies ahead for Jer Alexander? Should the Packers pursue a star cornerback like Lattimore, it could raise questions about the future of all-pro cornerback Jer Alexander. General Manager Brian Guttekin swiftly dismissed any notion of trading Alexander at the onset of the offseason. When queried about the possibility, Guttekins unequivocally replied with a No! Unlike Lattimore, Alexander's contract presents significant hurdles to any potential trade, even if the Packers were inclined to move him. A trade before June 1st would result in a substantial dead cap hit of nearly $26 million. Alexander remains under contract until the 2026 season and should be optimistic about his prospects for a standout season under the guidance of new defensive coordinator Jeff Hathley. With a track record of developing defensive backs, Hathley's expertise and innovative defensive scheme could facilitate Alexander's return to all-pro status in 2024 and beyond. Pairing Alexander with another elite cornerback like Lattimore, alongside newly acquired safety Xavier McKinney, could position Green Bay as one of the NFL's premier secondaries. Additional reinforcements are still required, but the Packers appear content with their linebacker situation. Linebacker remains a priority for the Green Bay Packers, yet general manager Brian Guttekens is feeling more at ease with the current state of the linebacker core compared to his sentiments during the NFL Combine. Presently, the linebacker unit consists of Quay Walker and Isaiah McDuffie. As recently discussed, McDuffie is poised to assume a significant role in the defense for the upcoming season. McDuffie logged over 500 snaps last season and showcased proficiency in tackling and run defense, especially notable considering his collegiate tenure under Jeff Hathley. With free agent options dwindling and the linebacker talent in the draft being moderate, the choices for reinforcements are limited. The re-signing of Eric Wilson, boasting nearly 2,300 defensive snaps in his career and contributing in passing situations last season, and Christian Welch, a key special teams player, 
bolsters the linebacker depth. I have confidence in Isaiah, expressed Guttekins during the NFL owners' meetings. We brought back Eric Wilson and Christian Welch. Both were significant contributors last year, especially on special teams. Eric has proven himself in this league. Guttekins acknowledged the ongoing need for more linebacker depth, especially with the shift to a 4-3 defense, which necessitates additional bodies for training camp and roster construction. While linebacker remains a glaring need on paper, there seems to be less internal concern about the current linebacker lineup. The defensive scheme under Halfley is expected to benefit Walker, utilizing his skill set effectively. The Packers are primarily deploying a 4-3 base defense, but will predominantly operate in nickel formations, requiring only two inside linebackers. Despite the need for depth, the urgency to address the linebacker situation seems tempered by the team's salary cap flexibility. All three linebackers are versatile, noted Guttekinst. They need to excel in various aspects of the game, both in run defense and pass coverage. As it stands, Walker is likely to fill the weak side linebacker role in the base defense, with McDuffie in the middle. The strong side linebacker position remains undecided, with Guttekinds prioritizing versatile skill sets over specific roles. The Packers may explore further additions post-draft if the linebacker need persists, potentially through trades leveraging their surplus draft capital. Inside linebackers are viewed interchangeably, with a premium on versatility given the evolving nature of defensive schemes. Despite the circumstances, the Packers seem content with Walker and McDuffie as starters supplemented by Wilson and potentially a rookie for depth. In our defense, linebackers are required to fulfill various roles, emphasized Guttekinst. We operate predominantly in nickel formations, which has become our base defense.